gentlemen, Bruiser Brody versus Abdul the Butcher. At this time, Bruiser Brody was managed by Pretty Boy Larry Sharp. And thanks to EG Productions, I'm going to tell you right now, Hugo Svinovich, we saved this tape. This tape here is among the classics of the classics. Yes, and we were very fortunate that Eddie Grice was able to rescue this, uh, the last moments of this tremendous brawl between Abdullah the Butcher and Bruiser Brody. Larry Sharp was a manager at the time, and you also see Barabbas on the background. Yeah, you know, this, is, you know, this, uh, this, this here is a wrestling match, ladies and gentlemen. And anybody that sat down and thinks they're going to watch a wrestling match okay, let's between these let's, two giants. Let's point out that Barabbas was managing Abdullah the Butcher yes. at the time. But anybody wants to know that these people, are, these guys are not going to wrestle. They're going to fight. They're going to take foreign objects. They're going to take boards. They're going to take forks. Anything they got, they're going to take. And they're going to sit there and beat each other with them. Okay, a brawl outside the ring. These are the last moments of this fantastic brawl between Abdullah the Butcher and Bruiser Brody. Wow. Oh, look at that chair. That had to bust Abdullah wide open. Brody's busted open. His head's busted open. Just a, you see the people running. Abdullah's not running and Brody's not running. They're going right at each other. Everybody else is running, though. That's right. And we don't blame him. Okay, Brody and Abdullah going at it. Obviously, you know, fans, they never made it into the ring. I don't think they really cared for uh, an official win. They were just out to hurt each other. Boy, look at Brody. Brody's, Brody's got, got Abdullah by the lower jaw there. He's just trying to rip and tear. And, and Abdullah's got Brody around the throat. Barabbas looking out in the back. Pretty, la pretty boy Larry Sharp. Oh, look at, look at, right above Brody's oh, left eye there, is busted wide open. Oh, boy, I'm telling you, this, this is just, this is a classic match. And thanks again to EG Productions so I get to see this again. And to all the new wrestling fans, an opportunity to find out the story, the way it happened in professional wrestling. That's right. You take a look here, Bruiser Brody, a lot of the new wrestling fans never got to see him wrestle. He was a great wrestler. Look at Larry Sharp, run up there, and the manager up there and push Brody into Abdullah. Oh, look at the karate thrust, right to the throat. Okay, Abdullah all over Bruiser Brody. These are just two big, mean guys, and, and I, they like to mix I, it up. I think I saw Ricky Vargas shaped completely oh yes Ricky Vargas head shaved completely isn't that what he had the tattoo on top of his head yes yes he did now there's Larry Sharp he's getting awful close to his boy over there now well so is Barabbas which one's the better manager well you were a manager which one's the better manager I have to say I, I was the best look at Larry Sharp won't let him go back to the dressing room you know why I was the best because I brought the best out of the superstars I gotta admit, you had some, you had some good, good talent here. I was, I was very positive. I gave him confidence, and I stood behind him. And I think the record speaks for itself. That's right. Success always speaks for itself. Oh, Whoa. look at that! Brody went right over that rail. Oh, there! And Abdullah's got Larry Sharp, got the pretty boy. And, and he's got him in between the railings there. His head right in between the, oh my oh, God. Oh, look at Abdullah just gave Brody a big boot. Now there is fight, there is trading it back and forth. Barabbas getting hit. Barabbas got hit. And the fans are loving. Boy, you take a look at the wrestling fans. They're just going absolutely bananas. Barabbas is getting hit by his own boy, Abdullah. Abdullah's beat him up. Now here comes Bruiser Brody with a table or something. Look at this, Hugo. Now Barabbas and Abdullah, they're good for Oh, he just hit him again. <laughs> Boy, I'm telling you, some days it doesn't pay to get around people that are crazy. Look at the well, wrestling fans. You they're know, just going wild. With Abdullah, it was never safe to be around him. Because uh, you never know what this man could do. 
right there. He just hit Barabas in the head with a board. I'll tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. This has been just one great classic of a match. And we'll be right back.